I'm Chris here from Production Coaching Civil Earthworks. Today I want to do a short video on um, when you're actually operating a bulk water cart and mainly when you're actually doing dust suppression within a load and haul circuit. So they can vary on, on sizes and obviously ramps and corners and all that kind of stuff. But in the main gist of things, I want to discuss just a few things to keep in mind when actually trying to do some dewatering to try to keep the dust down for the other load and haul trucks and things that um, I've come across in the past that have been quite beneficial that you don't always learn in your actual um, uh, training. A lot of it is uh, in your training, so you, if you're actually, if you've done it and you are operating a water cart, a lot of this will be very common. So within this one, I'll start this one off with just roughly over water. And I found on one of my last jobs, we had different, um, I'll make this up there here, um, different plant and different styles of machinery. So I wanted to show you uh, roughly two within a load and haul. So we've got our, just so we've got our articulated uh, haul truck, and then we've got a rigid uh, rear dump. So within this one, when I worked on one of my last um, sites, we had both running on the same haul circuit, doing the, um, doing the same thing, load and haul. But with the articulated one, they're more of an all-terrain one. They can handle a bit more uh, undulating uh, ground and, and rough terrain or whatever, where the, the ridges are a lot more, um, des oh, they're, they're designed a lot more for just like straight haul roads and stuff like that. So when I was operating the water cart, one thing I did um, really pay attention to was the fact that in really wet conditions, these articulated haul trucks, obviously depending on the person and their confidence level, they can handle wetter conditions a little bit better well, they will um they'll handle just the, like um, um if you if you lose control of it or not lose control of it oh, i'm starting to run off course here a little bit sorry we'll, get, we'll go on but they, they they're just more of an all-terrain vehicle so but with these rigid ones um in the wetter conditions they can step out a lot quicker and it happens a little bit quicker and faster so when I was actually doing the watering, well my main focus was within dust depression, I was watering to suit the rigids only. Knowing full well that these guys in the articular way, articulated haul trucks are gonna be all right, um, most of the majority of the time, but, but making sure that I did not over wet the roads for, these, uh, for the larger rigid ones because of the simple fact that they can uh, step out a little bit quicker. So that's one short one I want to discuss on just roughly over watering and focusing on um, the best amount of water to go on, say, for what machines you've got. So I've, I've roughly covered uh, the top plant and obviously a little bit of over watering on that one. Uh, another one that I found was um, uh, very beneficial was actually focusing on the shadows within the circuit. So you could have, obviously, you've got trees. And we also got the morning sun and the afternoon sun, depending on the angle. So for an example, one thing that I found that will actually benefit you a lot, just say hypothetically, we're looking down on, just say a bit of a circuit, and we've got the, the black morning sun over here. And with most haul roads, you've got to have a safety bundle. And in most standards, it's half the height of the big largest machine on site. So, on these edges here, you've got these massive safety buns. There's the road here. And you've got these safety buns to obviously segregate what parts of the road and all that. But also yeah, safety on making sure you're not going off of that. So when I'm saying the morning sun and afternoon sun, let's just say hypothetically it's shining over here, you'll be probably casting a shadow just over here because you've got the safety bun, which is can be up to a metre, metre plus height. So you've got a shadow there and just say, you're operating your haul truck along this circuit and you're spraying the road. Let's see if I can get a colour. <clears throat> you're spraying the entire road with, uh, with your water or whatever, and you do a complete pass. Where the shadow is, it's going to take that a little bit longer to obviously dry out or, or seep in than obviously where you don't have the shadow and you've got the open sunlight on it. So that comes into play when you're, say, coming back for another pass, if you were to go over that same shadow again, that's pretty much twice as wet as what this potentially could be in the sun. And that can 
Um, again, and I have seen it um, catch people out within um, operating their, their haul trucks because it was just that little bit slippery up on that, on that area. And that goes the same with trees and that as well. Trees casting a shadow in, in a large patch of the road. So it can also um, contribute to um, uh, creating a bit more slop and really wet and boggy uh, haul roads. So as a water cart operator, that's a, that's a good one to keep in mind. Obviously, when you've got the midday sun and it's belting straight down, you may have less shadows and it, um, it doesn't play as big of a part. So, shadows, yeah, well, just, just to, if you're operating, keep that in mind because um, it's beneficial to know how um, shadows can impact in, uh, down the road for you. Um, and obviously, we've got ramps and corners. This is the one that I roughly said you probably, um, you'll get taught, taught and trained in your um, in your, when you're actually starting out the water cart. But obviously, yeah, the main things is um, not overwetting corners and, um, and ramps and that. Every job's got different procedures. A lot of the time, you, um, you either do a strip spray or spot spray or even just avoid the corners entirely just to make sure that any of your other plant machinery coming around is um, not going to have any um, loss, of, oh, loss of control in, your, in the machine due to wet conditions. So, um, 